Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. It's the Asus TUF. It's an i5 CPU, but has a 144Hz display. Active Sync. No, Adaptive Sync. That's mean it's a AMD GPU. No, actually, it's a NVIDIA GPU. So uh, pressing the power button and nothing happened. The job is coming from a computer business. Let's check their email. So the email is saying doesn't turn on. I believe the charger light turns on, but the device doesn't boot up. So not sure what that means. But I will say, let's see if we have. Nah, we don't have this charger. No, we don't have it. Uh, let's open the laptop and let's try to check the board eventually charge the battery and the laptop it's open you know i love when i open the motherboard and i see heat sink over the chipset yeah we have a sealed on um, on the heat sink so no one took the heat sink out let's disconnect the battery and let's check the main power rail so where we are checking the main power rail I mean, we have a lot of uh, places. Coil, MOSFET, capacitor, and we have zero ohms on the both sides of the capacitor. So clearly the main power LED is shorted. Then here we have a fuse, but obviously the fuse, eh, okay. Then here, coil, MOSFET or chip, capacitor, and zero ohms. So the main power LED is shorted. Here we have a fuse, which we ground is good, but the capacitor is shorted we ground. So, uh, what do you think? Hmm? Shorter capacitor, easy pizza. Huh? We should take the heat sink out, or we should try our luck without taking the heat sink out. I think I've already I decided. I want to try my luck. Maybe we can do this job shorter. And uh, yeah, we can save some time. So lowering the power supply to like one volt. We have ground. And I'm going to come with the power supply exactly here. And it's taking like 2.8 amps, yeah? Let's do it. So coming with current. 2.8 amps and what is getting hot? What is getting hot? Nothing. Ah, that's bad. No, nothing. Nothing is getting hot. If nothing is getting hot, means the short is here under the heat sink. Let me take out the heat sink quickly. I mean, there is a small chance there is still a faulty capacitor. And the heat sink, yeah, we have one more screw there. And the heat sink, it's out. Yeah, it's a, you know, small, tiny GPU chip there. A little bit of VRAM, we have two coils here because this is an i5. I can't see any reason why here it will not be a shorter capacitor. It's not much stress on this board. So coming with current exactly here. Let's go and check. And what is that? Here? So check here, 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 here. Exactly here. Let's check that. Exactly here. Check my finger, yeah? Is the MOSFET? Do you think the MOSFET is getting hot? Let's come with some alcohol. So alcohol. Huh? What is getting hot then? The MOSFET. Uh, no. It's not the most, so let me raise the current. So raising the current to 3 amps.
No, it's the capacitor. Check that. Check on the on the thermal camera. It's the capacitor. Ha! Can't believe a doji capacitor. Can't believe that. Who said easy pizza? No one, huh? No. That's what I thought. Yeah. So checking for short. It's not short. Huh? It was a capacitor. Yeah. Great. We can, if we are here, just, you know, so we don't open the, we don't open the laptop again quickly. Let's replace the thermal paste. Yeah, we have to replace the thermal paste because um, thermal paste because we, uh, it was never open. So the thermal paste uh, is dry. Yeah, of course it's not for free, but we have to replace it. Yeah, great, fantastic. So I think we just increase the life of this laptop with. We just increase the life of this laptop with another uh, five years, at least five years. And after five years, the laptop, it will come back with another shorter capacitor. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so every screw is back. Let's activate the battery. So the battery is disabled. If it's a short on the motherboard, the battery is getting disabled and you can activate the battery by just coming with the power supply or plug in the charger. You can plug a charger if you have the charger. Let me plug the battery back. Minus, plus, and the... And the battery is taking 2.5 amps. Check that, you can see. And the voltage is 13.6. Oh, lol, the battery is fully charged. So pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on. Check here. Keyboard backlight and everything. Fans are spinning. Everything is coming back to life. I can feel the heat. We have a picture. Huh? What do you think about that? Huh? We fix it. Easy to pizza? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's a computer business, so we are charging a half price for my normal price. Yeah, two pizza and about two slices. Yeah, the fans has to be cleaned, but check there. You can see the battery is like fully charged and we have picture and everything. What a job. Hmm? What a job. But again, you won't see something like that on many laptops. So I really appreciate Asus for doing something like that. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You can know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you